In this video, we're going to look at disabling the hot water reheat system on this air handler. This is a system which we really do not need to run during the summertime. Uh, you know, it, it, it's really unnecessary, so we generally do not have hot water available in this system. You can see in this graphic that it is a dual duct system and you know it's just really unnecessary to heat uh, to have that you know to waste that energy unnecessarily you know the building uh, obviously during the warmer months needs cooling and heating is not an issue whatsoever what we wish to do is to simply disable the heating portion of this air handler's logic where it will keep the valve closed and also keep the booster pump off. There's no need to run those uh, with this system. The first step in this process is going to be uh, pulling in the main command point for this system. Uh, you can see here we have the pump and we really do not want that pump to run. I mean just we're wasting electricity for nothing if that pump is running. And the way this one is configured is when the valve opens, the booster pump comes on. So what we need to do is to set up some logic that will turn on and off this availability automatically. And we're going to be doing that in LCT. You can see here when I disable the uh, heating availability that it shuts the pump off, it closes the valve, and that's exactly what we want it to do. And instead of doing this manually all the time, it's going to make it much easier for us if we can just let the computer do the work and turn it off for us. It's a very easy step, just a little bit of logic, nothing that uh, can't be done. This is a good, simple program uh, in LCT that will help you to build your knowledge of LCT and get your system working a little more automatically. So we're doing what we're doing here is creating the control system and we are putting it in the programming folder under this particular device. Uh, we're going to name it something very similar, something that we know what it's controlling. You know, you want to be able to recognize your programming control logic if you have to come back in and do any kind of troubleshooting. It makes it much easier that way. So, once we get all that done, we get this logic block created, we are going to pull this over and begin the editing. And the first thing we need to do is hit our edit button. We have got to pull in a couple of points that we are going to be using to control this. We're going to be looking at the outside air temperature. We are also going to be looking at the hot water system availability, the main hot water system for the building. Because if it does get so cold outside or if we are uh, running the hot water system for the building, we want that heating system for the air handler to be on as well. Especially when the weather is cold outside. We do not want to risk busting a coil uh, because it freezes. So that's something that we're going to tie this into as well. We're going to pull those points, the uh, hot water heating availability points for both of these units into our LCT logic block. And then we are simply going to grab a few other points here. We're going to grab our hot water system. You know, we want to make sure, once again, Hot water system comes on, we're going to bring the uh, heating system for the air handlers on as well. We're also going to be looking at our outside air temperature. We're going to do a little bit of comparison. And if we are below, uh, say, 40 degrees or whatever, that it will turn it on just to keep water flowing to help keep those coils from busting. And uh, you know, LCT, if you're not very familiar with it, it's a very powerful tool within Metasys Extended Architecture. You can do a lot with this. Now, I will warn you that LCT is a memory hog. It uses a lot of system resources. 
uh, and can bog down your NAEs and NCEs if you try to do too much, uh, you know, too much control in the NAEs and NCEs. It's better off to keep as much control as possible within the individual controllers. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm going to grab a constant value. This is just going to be a floating value that we are going to use to uh, help do some comparison. I'm actually going to pull a couple of those over. One is just going to be a simple differential. What I'm doing here, 40 degrees, this is going to be my bottom number. Once we get below that 40 degree outside air temperature, no matter what else, even if for some reason the hot water system is not turned on, we want to turn that heating system on for that air handler where it will run that pump to try to keep that coil from freezing during extreme cold. And you can see here, I'm not going to set any units or anything, but now I'm going to go in and grab a comparator block. And these are very powerful. You can do the uh, underneath the, you find the right tab here. That's the wrong one. Uh, that's the wrong one. And we'll have it here in a minute. Underneath the, here we go. Well, you can see we have greater than, less than, greater than, equal to, uh, and that sort of thing. These comparator blocks, it's a very simple comparison. It's either true or false. That's it. And we're going to make our connections. If our outside air temperature is below 40 degrees with a differential of 1 degree, then this block will go true. And if it is true, then we will turn on that heating system, as we'd mentioned before. I'm also going to be pulling over an OR gate because if the hot water system or if the outside air temperature, either one of these is in the state, uh, you know, if it is true, then, you know, we want to turn that system on. Very simple, a little OR gate, and we simply go into the uh, devices. We're going to set this at a priority of 12. That's something that we do with all of our LCT blocks. Makes troubleshooting a little easier next time. And we are now connected to both of the air handlers through this little simple logic loop. And what it will do, once again, if our main hot water system is on or if our outside air temperature is below 40 degrees, it will then turn the uh, heating system on that air handler to true, you know, to where the valve will open, to where the circulating pump will run, and it's just a simple way to make your system a little more automated, save you a little trouble from uh, having to do this, you know, to remember to do this, and, you know, that's what a lot of this is about, you know, let the computers do the work, let the technology work for you, you know, work smarter, not harder. Anyways, guys, I hope you liked this video. I would appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up. Uh, be sure to drop me any comments down below, and thanks for watching. And we will see you next time.